The female reproductive system consists of a pear-shaped womb or the uterus and two small uh, uh, grape-like structures called the ovaries. Now these ovaries produce eggs which reach a certain level of maturity after a certain point of time to get fertilized by the sperm and form a baby. This process is called fertilization. Now at this stage where there the eggs are matured enough to get fertilized if at this stage the eggs from the woman's body is taken out and preserved under special circumstances under special conditions the fertility potential in them gets locked forever this process is called egg freezing today let's talk about egg freezing I, Dr. Sudesh Nare, would give you all the information that you need about this egg freezing. I thank my fertility partner, Mumbai Fertility Clinic, Dr. Jatinsha and Dr. Aparna to give me the, uh, the absolute needed resources and the statistics which I am going to share with you today. Remember, we spoke about uh, a definitely timed biological clock for fertility potential or the ability to get pregnant. Egg freezing is a way to beat this biological clock. The process involves or entails freezing or preserving the eggs from the woman's ovaries by a special technique called vitrification. These eggs can then be used for pregnancy later, in when, later on when she wants it. Of course, the pregnancy with these uh, preserved eggs has to be through the IVF procedure. Now, when does one need egg freezing? There are two indications of egg freezing. One is a medical indication where the woman is undergoing certain kind of a treatment like cancer treatment, where the ovaries can get damaged either temporarily or permanently. Two is a social indication where the woman doesn't want to have a child or is not ready to have a child till her late 30s or early 40s and so this is the way where she can lock her potential for fertility and keep the door open till the time she's ready to have a child. What is a good age to preserve eggs or to go in for egg freezing? Ideally and best before 34 years. Now what does this procedure involve? Once you decide for the, to go ahead with the procedure, you will be given, you will be advised certain tests to map the current quality of the eggs and thus to predict the success rate for the procedure. Then you will be given some hormonal medications or injections to stimulate the ovaries to produce more eggs. Once these eggs reach a certain level of maturity to get or ready to get fertilized, they are gently taken out from your body. Please note that this is not a surgical technique uh, involving any cut in your body and the ovaries are not taken out from the body. It's only the eggs in the ovaries which are gently sucked out by a special procedure. Now the ovaries continue to function the same as before. It continues to give out the same hormones and it continues to produce more eggs from the next cycle onwards. Is there a cost involved in the procedure? Yes. There is a one-time cost for the egg stimulation and retrieval and there is also a yearly maintenance uh, till the time you want to preserve the eggs. Now how long can these eggs be preserved? The available research says that it is safe to preserve eggs uh, in this procedure up to 10 years. Now there is no scientific limit or there is no scientific logic to a limit to the number of years. But most of, the, most of the countries will have a regulation up to 10 years. What is the success rate of pregnancy using these preserved eggs? Now, this is a fairly new option available to us in the last decade, more prominently in the last 5 years. And the uptake is also low because 1. There is a lack of awareness. 2. There is a high cost involved in it. And 3. There are a number of social barriers. So worldwide in the fertility clinics, there's only 2% of the work in the fertility clinics are involving these egg preservation. So what I wanted to say is that the success rate is not extensively studied. But whatever available research is there, it says that the success rate is about 60% when there are about 10 eggs which can be frozen or 
the success rate is more than 80% if there are 20 eggs available for frozen. Is there any risk involved in the procedure? Well, the whole process of the egg preservation, the egg retrieval and preservation, the stimulation, retrieval and preservation all put together is dependent on hormonal medications as well as medical expertise. So there are expected side effects. But these expected side effects are the same as anyone undergoing any kind of fertility treatment or an IVF treatment. Egg freezing is an excellent option available to all those who are not ready to get pregnant or to, to all those who want to lock their fertility at a certain age or a certain time. But please remember the preserved eggs or the frozen eggs cannot be transported or exported from the country and one has to come back to the preferably to the same IVF clinic for an IVF procedure where the egg preservation is done. If you want to contact me please write to me at drsudeshnacares at gmail.com. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us.